Hello, and welcome to Virtual Analog Studio. Virtual Analog Studio is a software simulation of an analog recording studio meant to be used as a tool to familiarize and practice analog studio workflow to translate into real-world experience. Whether you're looking to take your first steps to becoming an audio engineer or someone who's already been at it, Virtual Analog Studio is the perfect place to come for that analog style workflow in the digital domain. Without owning any gear and no prior experience necessary, Virtual Analog Studio offers a solution for you, the end user, to be able to work on the common techniques of analog studio workflow on your time and your dime. Maximize productivity for when you do find yourself in those recording studio situations and hit the ground running. What you're looking at is the first edition of Virtual Analog Studio. In the main window, we have our recording mixing console consisting of up to 24 channels of processing with equalizers, compressors, gate, sends, buses, fader groups, and more. To the right, we have our external rack window consisting of reverbs, delays, modulation, different types of compressors, channel strips, EQs, and more, all of which can be inserted into various points of the signal chain via the patch bay. There are a ton of routing capabilities with the patch bay, and a connection could be made by simply clicking on an output, then clicking on an input, and a cable will be added. The external rack window could be adjusted in size with the buns on the lower right hand side. Maneuvering around the console window is done in a similar fashion with the buns on the lower left hand side. We have what's called a smart open button which allows you to hover over various sections of the console, click, and immediately zoom in to be focused on that section. The smart open button works with the external rack window as well. To bring sound into Virtual Analog Studio, we go into the settings panel and we use an internal file player by default. Drag and drop a file over a specific track and it will be immediately inserted. We can also batch select files to be spilled out onto all the tracks. Files can be deleted from the session if necessary. Different input methods could be achieved via the I.O. section in the Preferences tab. External sound cards and compatible rewired DAWs will work with Virtual Analog Studio. Virtual DAW we will cover in a future video. To give you an idea of what's going on in Virtual Analog Studio, I'd like to open up a session that I've done some previous work on. It's a basic session. I've done some tweaking on the console, added cables to the patch bay, and tweak some of the external devices as well. Let's push play. In disbelief I stand alone Cause I'm out here on my own And I don't know where I am I drive for miles on empty road On the edge of overload And no one seems to give a damn and we'll see we have signal coming in on the console. Signal is also being routed out of the console, through the patch bay, through external devices, back to the patch bay, and then back into the console to be routed to buses before being heard. All the knobs, all the sliders, and all the buttons that you see throughout Virtual Analog Studio are all interactive. Each parameter can be tweaked, adjusted, and preset recalled. Things are very smooth in Virtual Analog Studio. It feels great on Mac, it feels great on PC, and it feels great on touchscreens. More environments, more consoles, and more external devices will be available in the future. I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions or comments regarding Virtual Analog Studio, please feel free to contact me. We're working very hard to bring out the best experience possible. Stay tuned. We got more coming your way.